Good morning, the internet. How you guys doing? It's not actually morning. I'm exaggerating because I don't want to feel so bad about getting started on this so late. Yesterday was a super successful ride. Made it to three ride in time. We got our bits and pieces. Ooh, I'm excited. So what we ended up with, got a uh, set of new tires. Couldn't decide between going with the green or the white. Once I saw the white up against the free agent, I had had to do it. Had to go for the white uh, white tires. So uh, yeah, a couple of these guys. My new bars. No more obnoxious bend on the uh, the brake handle side. Don't have to put up with that anymore. Uh, I mean, if I'm gonna switch colors for my bars, going with that sweet metallic green. The tag just fell off that. That's okay. Didn't need that anyway. If I'm going to go with the green, I can't put green grips on green bars. What kind of savage do you think I am? Picked up a set of Cult nice black grips. It did come with uh, with bar ends, but I don't... I don't know if I'm going to put those in. They're kind of just like super generic looking. You can't even can't see them. Yeah, they just have Cult with some rotation arrows on them for whatever arbitrary reason. Uh, so I might actually be a horrible person and stick these uh, ODI bar ends back in. Uh, new brake pads, because mine are just like every kind of shot. There's just nothing left there. It was sketchy going through the uh, going through the woods. Um, I'm swapping out the current sprocket on there. It's a 28 tooth with a nice fresh uh, salt parts. A this is a 25, 25 too. So slightly geared down, but realistically the ratio is so high currently with the nine tooth driver that it's not going to be a significant difference. And honestly, I think I think it would be beneficial to drop it just a little bit. I'll hold on to this one anyway, the 28. But I mean, the teeth on this thing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but the teeth are so just like worn down to razor blades. It's ridiculous. It's starting to bite my chain up. And also to go with the theme of things, I picked up some new green pedals to throw on there. Uh, and I think that is it. Now comes the time where I got to strip everything off of this guy, get all the new parts ready, get them on there, get everything torqued down, partially inflate the tires, take it up to work to put proper air pressure in it because I'm not I'm not putting 110 psi in this thing with a little hand pumpy do but it should be cool and you guys are going to get to watch me do all that stuff so enough talking um let's get a Let's get this show on the road. My poor, my poor filthy bike. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day.
too much, now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules Dangerous path that I follow to do
So that is it for the uh, the free agent bike build. This is kind of an old video, I'll be honest. Uh, this has already been torn down and turned into some other Frankenstein of a bike. But if you did enjoy this uh, this build, feel free to leave a like down below or a comment. Yay or nay, good or bad, whatever you got, throw it at me. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you all uh, ride safe. Enjoy your week or weekend, whatever you're up to, and yeah, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for checking out the video, check, checking out uh, the the things that that I that I did with the things that I do, and thanks for doing the thing that you did, watching me do the thing. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.